The first week of March turned out to be an active one for Colorado's high country, producing more than 340 avalanches, several of those covering major highways and trapping motorists. Spencer Logan, an avalanche forecaster with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center, which is based out of Boulder, says it's been an unusual season. Today we're going through uh, an extremely unusual event. Um, it's, we're seeing avalanches run larger than they have in 50 or more years. On an average season, Logan says the CIC documents close to 3,200 avalanches. With two and a half months left to go, the center has already seen well above 2,000 avalanches this season. So we have a lot of snow out in the mountains. All that snow has been stacked up on some layers down near the ground. Snow that fell in October and November, um, and it provides a really weak foundation. A weak foundation, Logan says, is one of the ingredients needed for an avalanche. So we have weak snow sitting down near the ground. We've got lots and lots of storm snow stacked up on top of that. We just put a really large storm on top of all of that, and it creates a very unsteady stack that's now coming and crashing down. Much of Colorado's high country remains in high avalanche warning. This means that any travel in, near, or below all avalanche terrain is to be avoided, including backcountry skiing. Um, if you're going out, everybody in your group needs to carry avalanche safety equipment. So that's an avalanche transceiver, avalanche shovel, and avalanche probe. And those three tools work together to help you find somebody who's buried in an avalanche. But the important thing is avalanche avoidance. So understanding what the current conditions are and choosing the terrain that's appropriate for the day and for your skill level is really important. To get up-to-date forecasts or to get more information on the Colorado Avalanche Information Center, please visit colorado.gov forward slash avalanche.